Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully added a search feature in our category module. So in this episode, we will uh, start a new module for our products. Uh, and in this episode, we will design a form for our project module. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. So let's go to our project uh, folder uh, that is any store for me and start our solution file. So I'll just double click on any store.solution and it will open on Visual Studio since we are using Visual Studio as an ID to cre create this object application. So I'll just close this categories DL and form categories.cs. So this was our uh, form for our category module now we will add new form for our product module so I'll just minimize DAL and go to UI folder and right click on UI folder and go to add and new item and select Windows form and here I will give FRM FRM TS so now click on add or press enter so this is from products I'll just make it a little bigger as I will make a uh, similar size of this so I need to make little bigger and I'll just make it larger so I think this looks good now we need to uh, change uh, the border style of this form so select the form go to properties and in form border style go to form border style and click from site table to none so this will look like this i will change the background color so go to the back color background or back color select the color and i will search for scroll bar so here it is so we'll be using this scroll bar font uh, background color not font background color and we need a header similar to this so i'll just copy the header from this i'll just uh, drag uh, above the search i'll just drag above the search and include this title and this picture box so select these three things this label and this background and this image so i'll just press Ctrl and C and paste in form product design go to this form and press Ctrl and V so this will look like this I'll just minimize the size of my form to this looks okay so this is it now I'll change this I'll change the text of this and just select the label categories label and go to properties and a real build up is okay then change the name text go to text properties and double click on text and change categories to products so i hope this will be good so okay i need to take it down okay this looks good to me now we will add a label and text boxes now uh, for our product form so i'll go to toolbox and search for label l a b e l label so just drag and drop the label here i will just leave it here and go to properties and this will be l b l product id and its uh, font size and font properties will be we are using sego ui for our project so sego ui regular and font size will be 10 and i'll click on ok so this is ok now we'll change text to product id so this is ok i think this is okay i'll just copy this product id for a few times ctrl c and ctrl v and ctrl v and ctrl v let's align them take the m the year and 
the year so this is it now we'll change the year name so second one will be name text will be name and its name will be lbl name and second one will be category so properties and name will be lbl category and text will be category and this one will be description so text change the text to D E S C R I P T I N description and go to top and change it to L B L description and another one will be control C and control V. I'll just copy and I just copied and paste so description will be a little bigger. So I'll take uh, the another label to little down. Just select the label and go to properties and change its name to L B L and it will be red and let's go to text and it will be red so this is it now we need to add text boxes for all of this so go to toolbox and search for text box so text box drag and drop and i'll make it lit little bigger uh, i think this will be good and just select the text box go to properties and first one will be txt id txt id and its font properties will be um, sego ui and font size will be 10 okay and its do we have a flat style or something like that border style to it's okay do we have flat style I don't think we don't have flat style so this is it and we need to change the uh, read only property of product ID to true so uh, default property of read only is false now change it to true so we don't uh, want to make any changes to product ID so this is read only property is true for product id now for name we'll add another text box so drag and drop text box and make the similar length properties and name will be txt name and its font properties will be sego ui 10 and ok so this is okay now for category we'll be using uh, combo box so let's go to toolbox and search for combo box and drag and drop it here uh, let's make it size go to properties and this will be name will be cmb category and its font properties will be 10 and sego ui so this is it uh, previously we used category for our login form where we added the value manually uh, but in uh, in this case we will be uh, we'll be displaying categories from our database so we will not add any values manually we'll do it later now for description we will add a text box so go to toolbox and search for text box a drag and drop and make it to the size of this and properties it will be txt description and font properties will be 10 and sego ui okay and we need to change its multi-line uh, properties to true so go to properties and multi-line so let's change it to true and let's make it little bigger okay this is okay i guess i'll just bring it little more down 
and we need to add another text box so drag and drop text box here and we will make the similar size and go to properties and this will be name will be txt rt red and font properties will be 10 and say go ui so okay so this is it now i think we need to make a little bigger form so that we can add button for add update and delete first let's add a uh, data grid view and a uh, source field so go to toolbox and let's add data grid view so drag and drop data grid view let's add it here and let's bring it down and spread i think up to this will be okay, great so let's change this properties go to select the data grid view and go to properties and change this name to dgv pro ducx and we'll add a level i think i will copy the level and text box from name just select the text box and level from this and control c to copy and paste uh, over above the uh, data grid view so control and v so here it comes now we'll place it here and let's uh, let's change the property of label first so select the name properties go to properties and change it to l l b l s e r c s search and let's take to text to search and let's uh, bring this text box a little bit closer and wider and let's change these properties too so properties and this will be txt yes -E search so this is it now we need to add uh, buttons for our add update and delete operation so let's go to toolbox and uh, search for button drag and drop so we need to make our form little bigger so this will be add button so i'll make it bigger this is i think this will be okay i'll just select the button and go to properties and it will be btn btn add and its back color will be forest green so go to web and search for forest green so where is forest green forest so here it is forest green and we need to change its flat style to flat and font properties to say go ui and size will be 10 and its text will be add so this is it now i think i should make its font size little bigger let's make it 12 so go to font and change its font size to 12 so this is okay now we will i will just copy this button ctrl c and paste ctrl v for update and make it closer and select the button and go to properties and change change its name to btn update and its back color will be chart green this chart width so this is it and now we need to change its text to update now the last button is for delete so i'll just copy ctrl c and ctrl v and bring it here little bit closer okay and select the button and go to properties and change this text to delete and delete and its name will be btn button delete so and its back color will be 
properties and back color will be dark red so let's search for dark red where is dark red where is dark red okay 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 dark red is here and we need to change uh four color where is four color four color to white let's search for white I'll just go to web and white is here it is so this is this looks okay let's check I think uh, we have increased the font size so I'll just uh, decrease the font size 10 is okay uh, this looks little awkward all of our other forms have font size 10 so 10 and properties and okay and this will also be 10 it's, it's totally up to you what size you prefer but I want to have same font size all over our application so I just drop down to font size 10 so this is it guys we have successfully uh, designed our form for our products and let's add uh, properties or event for our close icon when we click on this close icon we need to close this form so I'll just click double click on this picture box so this will create a picture box click event so here add code to hide this form so the code is this dot hide so this is guys so press ctrl and s to save and let's see uh, how our forms before that we need to add link our product to our menu so i'll just go to solution explorer and i'll just open admin dashboard in the form so double click on admin dashboard and in our products menu i'll just double click on product menu so here we need to link our mm, products form so frm products product is equal to new frm products and product dot so so this will display our form product form when we click on products menu so let's start our application start let's log in admin admin and user type will be admin so login login successful let's click on products so this is it guys we have successfully uh, opened our product form but it's not it's not opening in center we need to open this form in center and uh, we will uh, make this button little bit above so let's check if the form uh, closes when uh, or not when you click on this icon so this is closing successfully so let's close the application and let's stop the application let's make some changes in our form product so this is our product form so just select the form and go to properties and on windows state not windows 10 on start position select uh, center screen from windows default location so i'll select center screen so this form will always appear on the center so let's make this button little above i think this will be okay let's press ctrl and s to save and let's see the changes so login admin admin and user type is admin and let's login login successful product so it appears in the center of the screen so this is it guys we have successfully uh, designed our form for our product module so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like and share in social networking sites and if you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and click on little bell icon so you will get notified when my when i update uh, new uh, episodes uh, in the next episode we will create a business logic layer for our product module so see you soon bye bye